What's up guys? Today we are at the amazing mosaic house. A house made completely of mosaic. It's all around us. Everything around us is covered in mosaic. We're down here at Venice Beach, California. This is absolutely one of the most unique artsiest places I've ever been inside of. This is absolutely incredible. There's so much going on here. I don't know how I'm gonna to get to it all. Like it's so overwhelming the amount of pieces that were used to put this place together. It's incredible. I've never been in a place this decorated like this before. It's I it's so insane. We're gonna take a tour with the person that did this, the artist that did this, that owns this home. It it, it I I don't know what else to say, but incredible. This is really one of the coolest places I've ever been. I just want to get you guys into it. Let's check it out together. This floor guys filled with mosaic wine bottles look at that they're real wine bottles that's really cool everything spoons spoons that's like being used as a grate for this vent here I love these gates I love those hands too Look at that, Christmas plates. You'll notice all the plates, they're in pieces. These are the names of the people that did this. The people that own the mosaic house, these are their names, Sherry and Gonzalo. Alright guys, so right now we're about to take the tour with the person that owns this place. This is absolutely amazing. We're going to learn all about what it took to do this. Now here's the uh, Chinese fortune cookie. Oh, that's a turtle. <laughs> and then all the fortunes are coming out. And then you'll see throughout the house, there'll be other 
fortunes. So come on in. One of the things that I do is this automatons. If you have video, I can make this move. It's a chance in a lifetime opportunity. You're only here once, you may never come again. You all set? It's not a warning. So this is a man fishing for a wife. And then instead of using bait, he uses promises. And after 25 years, the promises did work. Thank you, end of story. This is Rocky, part one. I don't have the music for this. Music coming up. It's copyright, right? <laughs> it's copyright, I can't use it. <laughs> Thank you, end of story. That's great. Now we live here, so this is a working kitchen, and those are my wife's early dishes. They're all documented there, first marriage, second marriage. And then this is where it stops because there's no more room. Hopefully it works out. Look at their kitchen table, guys. Just completely done in plates. All different types of pieces of mosaic here. Look at that, even the legs. Oh wow, mugs. I love the mugs. I love that they use the mugs. Look at that, all around the sides, even the desk. Wow. Even the desk, it's covered. But I really love this table. This is, this is something else. Out of all the weird and unusual places we have all gone together, this has definitely got to be one of our top five. It really has to be. If you guys disagree with me, let me know what you think is better than this. But the creativity, the build that went into this, it's just so one of a kind. It's, it's so unusual. If you guys are ever in Venice, and you don't stop by here, the link will be in the description below. So there's no reason not to know where this is. Come here, please. Oh, wow. That's the right response. Yeah. Now this is where it all started. This is incredible. Originally, they were just gonna be four by four tiles with little abstract designs. But once we broke them to go around the tub, that's where the fun happened. You can only put one piece at a time, but the process is therapeutic. Did the ceiling out into the kitchen, into the yard. Now here's the studio. Wow. Unbelievable. How you doing? This is incredible.
This part is my wife's studio, and then I'm her favorite model. It all depended on how she felt at the time. She just used me as a reference. So this is where we do the glass. So there's two ways that we make tile. We get these blanks, and then we use whatever gla glazes we have on hand. And the other way is just to get the, the raw clay, roll it out, stamp it, cut it. And that way you get a lot more organic than the flat shape. Now these are different drawings from the sketchbook. It's not just one story. It was just a way to dis display the drawings. Tell me to stop. Tell me to stop. 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 Yeah, that's Thank a good you. one. That was a guy Thank on the toilet right there. <laughs> How long did it take you to do this? So far it's been 25 years. 25 years. Yeah. And you go at it every day? You do it every single day? A little bit each day. It, yeah. It's a, it's a pastime. It's not a job. Yeah. So yeah. you make it fun. You do it for fun, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, good. And I noticed you had workers inside there. Is that the only worker that you have inside of there? You have multiple guys that you use? He, he does the work of 10 people. That's the only one. And that's the only have. one you need, yeah. huh? That's a good guy to have, huh? Great. Sure this is. is really unbelievable. I really like the work that you did here. I well, really appreciate you. it. I appreciate you. This is you know, great. this is one of the reasons we keep the place open. People are so appreciative. Yeah. It, I, it, I mean, it, it's just like I, I'm sure you hear every single day somebody's blown away yeah. every single day about 25 times a day, right? It's There's like getting a standing ovation. It's, so it's I mean, terrific. You deserve it. You really Thank do you. deserve it. You do. So that right there was one of the homeowners and, and one of the original creators of this whole mosaic house. Absolutely unbelievable. We saw a picture inside of there of what it originally looked like. Nothing like this. It looked just like this house right next door to us. They added onto it. They did all the mosaics here and did an incredible job at that. I can't, I, I, this, is, this is more than I even imagined. So guys, over the course of 25 years, like he said, it took them to build all of this completely changing this house probably completely changing their lives in a sense because they have so many people over here checking out this place they have workers they have everything going on to make this house more incredible little speed bag i love that they use these glass bottles inside of here it makes everything pop it also gives it a like 
a little more of a glow because this goes to the other side of the wall so this goes all the way through and pops light through really nice very well thought out very well thought out everything even the gardening here I love these palm trees you guys know I love palm trees but when it's wrapped in mosaic it looks even better and this is just a whole other alleyway down the other side of the house here wow look at this a mosaic lady I can't wait to see that when it's all done it looks like it might have been done at one time at least up here but I can't I want to see that back out there that would be really cool look even more down the side of the way we were on the other side of this gate over here guys before look at this it's just the entire floor the wall all these little cups and bowls hands faces I love the little sayings, all the writings on the walls, on the tiles. I love this. I wonder, I like, this is great. At first walking down, I thought this was the other side of the house. I didn't realize that this was Mira, but it's Mira all the way down. At first I thought I was looking through to the other side of the house until I started walking back and noticing my reflection there. I was about to walk out of this room and I spotted this piano. Look at that. Pencils, mirror, all little the uh, the letters that magnetize to the refrigerators, coke can, bottle tops, everything. There's just a bunch of stuff in there. So I even got to use the bathroom. Very cool. Really, really incredible. It all started right in this room right here, guys. This is where the motivation to create the mosaic house came from. Right behind this toilet right there. And look, I don't know if you noticed it before, guys, but even the toilet. <laughs> There's a mug. Plate. Wow. Look at all this. Building blocks. Timon. Wow, oh, I didn't even notice. This is a tub. Oh my God, look, the, the shower handles, the nozzle, tub, they just covered it over. But they did that in mosaic as well. Wow. This is probably an old window. All the holders, the Noid. If anybody remembers the Noid, let me know below. Everywhere I turn, inside of just this room alone, I'm noticing new stuff. I, I, I can't even get out of this room because I'm so caught up inside of everything that's in every little piece here. So amazing. This is, this is so amazing. I never, ever, ever would have thought that they would be like this. I love this. I love, I love people that, that do great art. I love people that build things. I love all this stuff. I, lo I love creativity. That's why we talk about when we're in these abandoned buildings and things like that. I hate when people destroy things. I hate when people vandalize things. I hate that stuff. This is, this is absolutely incredible. All right, guys, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this tour of the Mosaic House. I'd like to thank Sherry and Gonzalez for letting us have as much time as we wanted to film this place here. It's absolutely incredible. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. If you guys did enjoy watching it, you're gonna enjoy even more coming here and seeing it for yourselves. Lay your own eyes on this place and let me know what you guys think. This is absolutely incredible. Like I said, probably about 100 times in this vlog. It is too much, man. It is really, really, really too much. It is one of the most amazing art pieces I have ever seen a fully functional house turned into an art piece. This is really great. The link will be in the description for where you can find this, the Facebook page, all that stuff. 
I really hope you guys do come and experience this for yourselves. This is what these vlogs are all about. So you guys can get a little bit of what I'm seeing and maybe get inspired to go out and do it yourself. So I really do hope for one of the places that I do show you, this is the one that you actually come to. Hope you enjoyed this again. Peace.